Amicue Live. I'm your host, Lisa Blackwell, and today I've got Jeff and Brant of my very favorite Bamacue barbecue team, the Bee's Knees, here to cook up some awesome food for you. They're going to do a pork chop, some butternut squash, and a cucumber salad. I can't wait. My stomach is growling already, you guys. Yeah. Let's see you do it. Show All right. Let's do it. Right. Let's okay. do it. All right. We're looking forward to it. We got a compart duroc pork chop we're going to do here. We're going to season it up. I'm going to get the chops out now and get the seasoning that. Uh, Jeff, why don't you go ahead and start the cucumber salad? All right, I got to get this mop put up first. Get, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put, put yeah, that up. I got to put this mop up first. <laughs> Jeff's going to put his hair up because he's like he's almost like Captain Caveman now. Uh, his hair's grown out so much. Isn't it, Jeff? Yeah. It's been forever since we doing anything, so let's get out. Yeah, we're glad to be cooking finally. It's been good. Hold on one second. Hey, uh, Jeff, uh -huh. any, anything interesting happened this morning? Um, well, no, I uh, got woke up at 5 o'clock by a mad texter in a group text <laughs> that I guess he was eight years old, and uh, <laughs> he's up, and so I guess he thinks everybody else needs to be up, too. So um, <laughs> other than that, I woke up okay <laughs> after I went back to sleep for another three hours. So what about yourself? <laughs> These uh, Compart Duroc pork chops, I'm going to season them uh, with some hardened seasoning. And uh, this stuff, I think they, when angels shed their wings, they, uh, they take those angel wings and they grind it up and then they, they, have, they make hardens out of it. It's a, it's a savory rub. So I'm going to uh, just put a light, light coat in on, on these first. Just the light coat. And I'm going to layer these rubs out. So I'm going to go savory. And then I'm going to hit it with this, um, this Bamacue rub. And BBQ uh, rub has some garlic notes to it. And then I'm going to finish with um, Triple Nine Swine. It's sweet with a little touch of heat on the back. And um, you can get uh, this rub at a uh, uh, barbecue superstore. So anyways, we're going to get these seasoned up and uh, get to cooking. While he's doing that, I'm going to trim up some of these, uh, peel up some of these cucumbers here for the cucumber salad. get them going so this um, this pork chop I'm gonna finish it with uh, an Asian glaze uh, when we get it done but I'm gonna get these seasoned up real good and then I'm gonna uh, come back over I'm gonna start trimming some butternut squash here in a little bit we're glad to be finally cooking so these uh, these compart Duroc pork chops uh, Compart Family Farms are up in Minnesota, and um, so they've been doing genetic testing on all their hogs uh, for, they'll, they'll, they do um, genetic testing on their hogs. I guess they've been doing that for, one of the first companies to do that, about 70 years. And they also uh, ultrasound their hogs for uh, fat content, and they're one of the first companies to do that. And uh, they're served, it's served in the finest restaurants all over the world. Uh, some really good, really, really good pork. Um, we use it when we compete. It's, it's excellent. All right, Jeff, I have these. Can I move over there next to you? Yeah, you can. You can start on the butternut squash. Yeah, we'll get the butternut squash going. So we got these seasoned up. I'm going to put these in the cooler. All right. Here, Jeff. I'm going to set these on ice if you don't mind. This Can cucumber you? salad is really... Um, Really easy to make. It's just, um, I'm using three cucumbers today. You, you know, you do how many ever you want. And then I've got is some uh, sour cream and some uh, apple cider vinegar. Then we're gonna hit it with some uh, dill at the end. What we're trying to do is we're trying to go with a, we're trying to go with a light summer dish. Something that's not real heavy. A lot of people are doing the low carb thing. Um, so that's, I guess that's kind of what we're trying to, to do. Um, anyway, we're, uh, let me get this, where's another cup, there it is. You know, everybody, everybody's sitting there, you know, no one wants a really heavy meal um, in the middle of the summer, especially like on a day like today, it's, I mean, it's really hot today. Really hot. Here in the sun, it's, it's pretty hot. Let me get this bacon. All right. All right, so I have some uh, Compart Duroc Applewood smoked bacon. 
I'm going to cut it up, then I'm going to start browning it off. We have our uh, Weber Smoky Joe over there. This is the first time I ever cooked on a Smoky Joe. Um, it's a really cool little cooker, especially if you have a hunting camp or if you like to tailgate. It's real small. And I'm, I'm looking forward to cooking on it. It has some grill grates on it so you can get good sear marks. So hopefully it'll treat me right whenever I, whenever I put the pork on there. All right, I'm about to cut these cucumbers up. We're gonna cut these up into, you know, just some slices. And then what we'll do is uh, lay them out on this paper towel and we will uh, put some salt over the top of them, which will draw out some of the moisture. Then we'll pat them down and we'll get ready to throw the uh, throw all the other ingredients in there, and then your cucumber salad will be done. Oops, I get my glove on. There we go. So Brent, tell them about how you're going to cook that butternut squash. So this butternut squash, I'm going to have a uh, cast iron skillet on the uh, Weber gas grill, and I'm going to slice these up. I'm going to brown off this uh, applewood smoked bacon and then I'm going to add uh, half a Vidalia onion in it and then I will uh, add the butternut squash. These Gunner Wilhelm knives are super sharp. Uh, it's a really, really good knife. I've enjoyed using these. Uh, this one actually has uh, etched barbecue on it. It's, these are really good knives. So Jeff, um, did you have fun torturing me with your uh, hairband stuff all the way down here? Yeah, yeah, I, I do. I always love torturing you with hairband stuff. So that's uh, my era. So you know, if you're watching Facebook earlier or following us on Facebook, we were goofing around on there a little bit with me torturing Brent. So I, I'm not into the hairband stuff so much. Jeff loves it, and. Uh, so since I woke him up this morning, I got to listen to four hours of hairband, and uh, it was it was pretty tough. But I'm, I'm glad we're cooking now. Well, the best part about it is we got four hours home. <laughs> <laughs> we got four hours home. We got four What's hours home. On the four hours home. Huh? What's gonna happen on the four hours home? Well, I mean, you know, when you want to settle down on a nice Saturday night, whatever, you know, you get out there and throw your hairbands on and get you a good little something going on with some drinking and. <laughs> Go at it, and it's a party all night long. No matter wherever the hair band is, there's a party. <laughs> so I started cooking when I was a kid, and uh, I would cook stuff. And I, I would, when I was in middle school, I would take a, I would take chicken right out of the, right out of the freezer and put it on the grill. I'm surprised I didn't kill anybody. I, it was it was all about volume back then. I would cook and cook and cook, and I didn't really care what it what it tasted like or anything like that. So that's how I got in, you know interested in cooking. And then later on down the road, I I started uh, I guess probably 20 years ago, almost 20 years ago, I bought my first smoker, and uh, it's been doing it ever since. We have re really it's really it's been one of those things where you start cooking and then. You learn how to do something, then you learn how to do something else, and you keep going. Well, I mean, you don't ever master it. You're always practicing, so that's, that's the good thing about it. There's always something new to learn from somebody. So oh, I'm always learning. And we've got a lot to learn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. We have, a, we have a bunch to learn. So this is, this is a butternut squash uh, you can find in your grocery store. You can do this with uh, acorn uh, squash if you want to. Uh, I even do this recipe sometimes. I'll do it with spaghetti squash. Um, it's just a little bit um, less carbs than a, than a potato. Better for you. Um, if you have sugar issues. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm going to. Do you have that peeler? Can I borrow that peeler? Yeah. What is you just trim the ends off of it? And you're gonna you're gonna peel it. And then I'm gonna cube these up in like half inch cubes. We'll get them all cubed up. But when I mean, when you're at home, have uh, play with stuff. You're, I mean, you can't. Hey, if you do it wrong, you're going to be the one that eats it. I mean, in you know, the kitchen, it should be fun. 
And a lot of times I, I mess around in the kitchen and sometimes I'll, you know, be successful in something that I'm going to try. I'll, I'll take a recipe and I'll, I'll tweak it and I'll, you know, add some, you know, add some different things to it, things that I like. Um, a lot of times when people ask me about cooking barbecue, they say, how do I cook this or how do I cook that? And I said, well, it depends on what you like. I mean, if you're the one eating it, do it your way. I mean, um, recipe to me is just a suggestion. Right, right. That's the way somebody else liked it. That's right. It's not the way I like it. Sure. But, um, you know, mess around with, mess around with your recipes. You're the one who's going to eat it. And, uh, anyway, that's, that's how you learn how to do different things. We get this squash peeled. So we're getting these cucumbers here cut up. These here have already had the salt on them. Got them, kind of got some of the moisture off of them a little bit. Let me cut this other one up. You measuring everything exact over there? Huh? You measuring everything exact? Well, I'll get to that here in a second when okay. I get to that. I'm, um, there's a rule whenever it comes to measuring uh, with Brent and I, not so much on the liquid stuff, but the rule is with us that when it comes into seasonings, you know, and it says take a third of a cup, we just take that, just throw that measuring cup off <laughs> over there, and then we put it into wherever what we like. It just stay, I mean, like, like I said, that's, he, that's just what he was saying. It's what you like. It's like, oh, that looks good. Yeah, that looks good. That looks fantastic. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> it's about the right amount. <laughs> so anyway, so so anyways, this this <laughs> this better not squash. You're gonna have like a core on 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 the top end of it. Then the bottom end, it, it has seeds in it, kind of like a pumpkin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these seeds out. You have that spoon over there? Yeah. I'm gonna take these seeds out of here. Hey Jeff, how do you how did it make you feel when Lisa said we were finally her favorite? Yeah, we we've been on her about that for a while and we've heard rumor about it and i just told her i said lisa just go ahead and just get it out of your system right right you'll feel so much better and everybody already knows it anyway we so kinda, we kind of force that yeah we, we force that on a lot of people lisa loves everybody but we we kind of poke at her and, and make her uh make her say things sometimes she don't really mean <laughs> it ain't just lisa we do that too yeah, either. we do that to everybody yeah so so don't feel bad lisa about it <laughs> I'm gonna let that sit just a second. Right, getting everything chopped up, Jeff. Then we also, after that, we're gonna use a quarter of this onion, red onion right here. Use a half, it may be too, too oniony. So we're gonna try to cut that back a little bit. We'll be using that. And then we'll also be using some of uh, the hardened seasoning in the, the pink bottle over there. I'm gonna give it, kick it up a notch with that. And then this will be done and we'll put it in the cooler then we'll get over here on this uh, squash and then we'll get ready to put the chops on. Getting this all cut up. Jeff? Yes, sir. Why don't you, why don't you tell them about uh, how your pollinette count's coming? Oh, yeah. Um, well, uh, Brent and I got, well, I'll start off saying, uh, let's see, me and my daughter got a chance to go do a, a really cool thing uh, a few weeks ago down in Soso, Mississippi for some tornadoes, cooking for some tornado victims. Then the next weekend, Brent and I went down there. So after we made that trip down there to Mississippi, my pollinet count went up pretty good. Like, I mean, like double digits in one day. So <laughs> it's getting there. What? So we're, we're, trying, we're trying to get some things together and uh, there may be something new out there coming here pretty soon for, for pollinets everywhere out there. Is there, is there a, are you going to have an app or whatever where they can fill out a resume or a form? All I need is credit score. Credit That's score? all I need is their credit score. What if they had a picture of a nice barbecue trailer? Okay, well, I mean, there's always other things you can add to that. Yeah. Credit score's big, so if they got a good credit score, they're probably going to have a pretty good barbecue trailer. Yeah, I guess. So. What else are you interested in? What about a boat? Yeah, I'm good on a boat. You don't, you've had a boat. Before. Yeah, I'm good on that. You don't need a boat. I'm not, I'm not, you can't cook barbecue on a boat. 
So but we got we got some cool things coming up maybe uh, here, you know, in the in the near future. And uh, so you just kind of stick stick to Bama Q and the Bees Knees page, and we'll kind of we'll lead you throw right. some stuff out there. We'll lead you in the right direction. That's right. Hopefully, that's right. Well, tell tell about your newest pollinette. Oh yeah, so in so, so Mississippi, I have uh, my newest pollinette. Her name is Brittany Carter. She has basically took over my life, which is awesome because I needed somebody to do it. <laughs> so uh, anyway, she's really cool. Her and her husband Edwin, um, just really cool. It's just you know, I tell Brent, we we and he knows it too. Which is these people you kind of click with, you know, just all of a sudden. So she's uh, I've put her to work handling my at my Instagram. So I've got somebody handling that for me. That's now. right. So, that's right. I'm telling you, I, I never thought in four or five years we'd be up to where we're at right now. <laughs> I'm just, I mean, I'm shocked by it. We, I mean, Jeff even has some shirts that he's being made, uh, made up for all his pollinettes. <laughs> we're working on it. Yeah, we're working on, we're working on it. Maybe there'll be an applications thing fill out or. Well, you know, I ain't too particular. <laughs> You're not. I, I can, I can eyeball it. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna eyeball it. I can eyeball it. You can. Yeah, I'm, I'm 52. I think I can. I'm. I'm pretty good. Yeah, that's right. Pretty that's good right. judge of it. Well, I got this applewood bacon uh, in this cast iron skillet. I'm gonna brown it off real good and get this grill real hot. And uh, we'll get it browned, and then I'll add my onion here in a minute, and we'll we'll get those uh, sautéed. So Brent, right now I'm cutting up this red onion. We're fixing to throw it into this uh, cucumbers okay. over here. All right. Hey, uh, don't forget to add a little dill to the mix. Got you. Um, you need a you need that uh, stainless. I you got need it. To mix them. Well, you can just mix it in there all together. You're just gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna mix it all together. together. All right. Easy, easy. If this, I'm not gonna use a lot of this red onion because if it's Anything like it smells, we don't want it. We don't want all that in there. I can tell yeah, you that. You, you better better not be having any ladies come over to the house if you're eating a lot of onions. Not tonight. Not uh -uh. tonight. Uh uh. My wife, she'd get on to me. Yeah, I know it. I know I it. Ate all that onion, then came home. What do you think? Yeah, well, I'm I'm, I'm with you on that. I don't even like to smell myself on onion. Hold on one sec here. I got this, um, have some fresh garlic. I'm gonna take and have this neat little tool. It's a garlic press. So actually you can put it in, put your garlic in whole. And then when you press it, the uh, outer part of the garlic will actually stay in. And just the good, good part of the garlic, it'll come out. It's a handy tool. I've used it a long time. You take it. And press it, and then the garlic comes out right there. Just put it in there, add it in there. It's looking good over there. Yep. Be really good. Cutting up some dill now just to kind of throw in there. And it's fresh, you can really smell it when you open it up. Oh, yeah. Get that bacon good and done. Put just a little working on something that. in there. It's about 95 degrees out here today. It's huh? really not that bad. It's about 95. Summertime's coming around the corner. Yeah, it is. It's only May. Or, I'm ready. No, I don't know when it is. Yeah. I don't I'm know ready. what day it is. I'm ready. All right. You ready for summer? Yeah, I'm ready. I am ready to go. I'll tell you what. I'm glad these, this shirt is black because I haven't been to the gym like I should. And uh, but I, almost, I hope it's thinning. I almost wish they had a green screen back here. <laughs> well, at least you got the own. At least you're they're shooting you head on. I get the profile shot. So yeah, if that tells you anything. Oh yeah, you got the profile. I didn't hmm. say nothing about your weight though. Thanks. I think you're looking good. Well, I'm trying. Thank you. Thank you. Looking real good. 
All right, so now we're fixing to finish up on this cucumber salad. We're gonna add a quarter cup of vinegar, apple cider vinegar. And I got an eight ounce sour cream here. I'm gonna use half of it. Here. Huh? Here. Oh, I thought you threw it away. No, here. What are you supposed to do with it? Oh yeah, it? I know that. No, what are you supposed to do with it? What? Oh, well, throw it. I, I said on, I said on a, but yeah, we can throw it. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do with yeah, it, right? Yeah, he's, yeah, I'm off my game right hey, now. This, this is redneck cooking. We're, I mean, we do this all the time. This is what's practicing. Unless you're baking, just, just eyeball it, right? Yeah, eyeball it. Eyeball it. It'll be good. It's going to cook out a lot of it anyway. We're not really rednecks, though, are we? After the day, I'm going to be. <laughs> I'll tell you that. So we're going to go with a quarter cup. I, t I tell you what, who's your who's your favorite team on the show? Mine? Yeah. Well, now you're trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> I like them all. You do? I love them all. We always put Lisa on the, on the spot. Yeah, well, I mean, she's, she's not technically a team, but my favorite host on the show would be Lisa. I, I, Lisa is. Yeah, she's my favorite host on That's the right. show. Team now, like I said, uh, Fat, Drunk, and Stupid, we go to... We go to lunch with them a lot, and uh, Chester, I mean, we all talk all, all the time on a uh, message group that we could charge admission to be on. <laughs> uh, so, like I said, I love them all. That's right. Brent, what's this looking like to you over here? Let's see, hold on one second. It's a long way over there. Looks good. Looks real good. We're gonna cooler this. Yep. Put it in the cooler. We're gonna hit a little bite of it though here first. I'm gonna put the. Oh. I'm gonna go. Oh, we forgot. What? I need my hardens. That's what it's missing, like everything else. You mean the angel wings? The angel wings. That's right. It's it's only from angels that have shed their wings, not not real live angels. Right. That's right. Only, no live angels were harmed when right, we were doing only, this. Only angels that have shed their wings. Not a real, not a real angel. Right? That's right. All right. So we're done with this. That's kind of where we're at on it. We'll add a little more deal just to garnish it at the end. We're going to cooler this. All right. Brent, what, do you, what can I help you do? I am uh, getting this bacon ready. How are we doing on time, Jeff? Um, I got a watch over here with me. Let's see here. We'll get this all scrambled up here good. How do you like that Weber grill? I like it, it's nice. Hey, Lisa. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, I'm getting a little hungry. Uh, about how much longer is it gonna be? <laughs> 10 minutes. 10 minutes is what we got? 10 minutes? All right, All right. yeah, okay. we got well, we it. Get it done. Hey, really? You got it. Thank you. You can't <laughs> rush greatness though, Lisa. Hey, hey, we're, 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 we're rushing. We'll get it, hey, thank you. That gives us some time. All right, Jeff, what I want you to do is I want Tell you me. to start working that. All right. Let's go ahead and close it. Got gotcha. you. And I'm going to pull these chops out. I'm going to start grilling. Okay. Let's see. Is that you stir? Huh? Is that you stir? Yeah. All right. I need I need uh, this cutting board right here. Let's here, see. I can clean it. Look at them pork chops. They look really, really good. I'm gonna lay these down here. I'm gonna do a 10 and two sear on it. And what, what I mean by that, it'll be 10 o'clock 
in the 10 o'clock position with the stake, and then we'll, we'll rotate them to 2 o'clock. And I am going to go get my timer. Okay. Can you stir that real quick? Yeah, I got it. I'll be right back. I got it. So we've really enjoyed working with Bay McHugh. I guess uh, we've been on since... Uh, Se second season, I know. It's middle of the second middle, season. Middle of the second season. We got on the show and uh, it's been a really... It's been a ride. It's been, it's been a lot of fun. We've met a lot of good friends. So what I'm doing here is I'm setting a timer on my um, phone. Um, since these are thick, they'll go... Uh, two minutes and then I'll turn them uh, at the four o'clock position. So they probably have a, about a minute left on this side, then I'm going to rotate it. And uh, then I'm going to check them with this, this Thermapin uh, by Thermaworks. Uh, it's a really good tool to have. Uh, if you want instant, instant read. Instant read. It's excellent. All right, Jeff, uh -huh. what I'm going to go ahead and do now so I'm going to cut some butter uh, for uh, cut some butter. Can you open this bubble? Yeah. Can you open that? I got and cut a half a stick for me. This this butter will be to um, glaze the top of these so the top doesn't dry out when I when I flip them over. And go ahead and open it up and put it in the paint. Now this little cast iron pot, and I put some aluminum foil on the end of it. That way it doesn't burn your hand. You don't have to wear a glove. There's my timer. All right, I'm going to take these. I'm going to move them in the four o'clock position. And I have my, my timer set for two minutes. And right now this, this butter's melting. You kind of have to watch it because you don't want to burn your butter. So when I finish these pork chops, I'm going to make a, uh, an Asian glaze. And I'm going to go ahead and do that now. That way when they come off, it'll be ready. So what it is, it's going to be a quarter, cup of, quarter of a cup of honey. It's about a quarter cup. Yep. And then I use... Um, Sanjay, it's less salty than regular soy sauce, and it's organic, and it's also gluten-free. It is excellent. It will change your mind about soy sauce. E excellent. Really good. I use that all the time. Then I'm going to do some uh, one tablespoon of rice vinegar. I'm going to do that. Your measuring's on point today, by thank the way. Thank you. Th hey, thank you. Thank you. And then, where's that ginger at, buddy? So, uh, you got it oh, right here. Yeah. You can do fresh ginger um, if you want. Uh, for TV's sake, I'm using uh, this ginger right here in a tube. About a teaspoon. About a teaspoon. All right. And then I'm going to mix that. And mix that. This will be our glaze when the chop's done. All right. And we got about 16 seconds, and then we'll flip, flip these chops. And then Jeff, I need—I'm going to need that cover when we do it because okay. these are so thick. Okay. Um, we're looking for an internal of about 145, and with that lid off, I don't know if we'll make that. Okay. Um, all right. All right, there's our timer. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to go to the 10 o'clock position again.
And then I'm going to butter these tops. Can you set that timer? I need to set that timer here in just a second, Jeff. Okay. This way the, the uh, top of the chop won't dry out. While the other side's cooking. I'm going to close this up. Uh, just because those are such big chops. Uh, I'll open it back up here in just a minute so you guys can see it. But we're going to roll this for about two minutes. And we'll get that going. How's that looking? It's okay. Yeah, it's getting there. Is it's it? getting there. Okay. All right, good deal. It needs good. to soften up a little more, okay. but it's getting there. Have you put the uh, angel wing dust on there, the hardened seasoning? On here? Yeah. No, not yet. Let's go ahead and put some of that on there. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do, Jeff. I am going to go ahead. I'll tell you what, can you go ahead? Uh huh. Can you give me some chives Got you. for the finish? All right. Got you. Got a minute and minute, minute and 18 seconds, and we got a two minute turn, and we'll be done. Three minutes. There you go. Three minutes. And we'll, we'll see where we're at. Okay? Okay. We'll get everything ready. Sounds good. Smells good. It does smell good. Let's see here. Now, this is kind of a new era, uh, area for me with the knives because normally on the show, I'm in charge of everything in the trailer and around the cook site except for the knives. Yeah. Because Brent saw me one day trying to get a hold of them and he put a stop to that real quick. I'll put them on probation. Yeah, double secret probation. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. D double secret probation. That's right. That's, that's about as it gets. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I mean... Double, double secret probation. I feel like somebody's watching me all the time. Hey, let me ask you this. Uh -huh. Since you become, you know, TV star and all that, how's the dating scene going? Well, if I could stay out of work long enough. <laughs> if I could stay out of work long enough, it would probably be pretty good. It'd be good. But, you know, since you got you to work to date, all right. it's kind of a juggling act. But, you know. I'm not, I just, I if just it's wondered. there, it's there. Whatever. I, I, I'm good. I was just wondering. All right, we got a two minute turn right here. We're going to go back to the four o'clock position on these. These are some big, big, big chops. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to butter these one more time for this last turn. That way it doesn't dry out. Put that right there. All right. All right. All, All right. There's your chives. Get that big one. Out. All right. Here we go. How does that look now? There we go. All right. There's your chives. All right. How are we looking over there? Um, it's looking all right. It probably needs to. It needs to. Getting close. It's not bad. Okay. You got all the chives you need? Yeah. Move this here. I think that's that's good enough for pork right. chops. Right. Okay. You, when you're doing these uh this butternut squash, you don't want to really cook it to where it's mushy. You want it to have some consistency to it. So yeah. you don't want it like sweet potatoes. Yeah, almost like a um you're looking for the texture almost like um potato salad. Yep. But you're not going to have the as much as no mayo in it, or of course, or anything right. like that. Um, kind of like a German potato salad. Yeah. That kind of texture. Yeah. Your pork can go through the potato, but it doesn't fall to pieces whenever you do it. Yeah. So we have less than a minute, and on a, on our timer on this, I'm going to check the temp. I'm looking for internal. Uh, 145 would be just about right. Um, we'll see what it temps here. Should be just about right. Let's see. That one is. We'll let them go a little bit longer. That little cook or something. That is. This would be a great. If you had deer camp, tailgate. Yeah. Gift. Anything. Duck camp. I mean, yeah. It's great. If you had a lived in an apartment, lived in a condominium. Oh yeah. Whatever. It's a cool little. It's a cool little Man, little yeah. cooker to do everything the the kettles do and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a, it's a really really nice grill. Now I have I mean three. Three big uh, 
chops on there. All right. We're gonna get one more minute. We yeah. have one more minute. I'm gonna cut up some more deal for this uh, to top with this. Uh, All right, go ahead. Other. If you want to check that. Uh, All right. Oh, she's done, baby. That's gonna be it. She's getting there. All right. Ready to plate that? All right. We have that cut. About one minute. Remind me, we got to give Lisa. We got to give Lisa a bite yep. before we present it. Okay? Right. She's, Make sure you don't burn her to death this time. I know. I'm going to give her some gloves. Okay. Good. How about that? Yeah. Because she just now got a taste buds back from <laughs> from whenever we did it the last time. So <laughs> That's you know, right. I'm sure she's finally glad to be tasting food I, I again. She probably is. Yeah. She probably is. She was a trooper, though, to get through it. She was. I'll tell you what. We, on, a on, a, on a brisket that was about 210 degrees. <laughs> these, are, these are really, really, they look really good. They look beautiful. So we will. If you would, can you cut her off a slice of that? Uh, right, right about there. Cut it off right about there. Right along that line. Yep. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oops, sorry, that needs to cook a little more. There we go. All right. All right, we got that. We need to we go. put that in. All right. Let's see where these temp at. Yep, right there. All right, cut her off that end right there. Let me cut it off for you. Okay, go ahead, here you go. Here you go. Right there. Our squash is done, it looks like. All righty. We'll cut her off oh, a yeah. piece right there. That looks a lot better. Yeah. And then we will plate these up. All in the right direction. These are some really, really big pork chops, Jeff. You know what? Oh, yeah. Real big. Giant. All right. Those okay. grill marks look awesome on them. There we go. Makes it look like a professional. Okay. All right. Now let's. I'm gonna clean, clean this right spoon. here off so you can plate it up here. here we go. We're gonna go right here. Uh, can you give me some paper towels to? Yes. I need to wipe that cutting board off real quick. All right. All righty. Now we're gonna come in here with some of these, some of this squash. I need that spoon, buddy. What'd you do with it? I do oh, here it is. <laughs> there you go. Let me wipe it off. Let me right. wipe it off. Oh, you're doing that. Okay. All right. Here you go. Before you hit it in that, that's all right. There we go. Oh yeah. Let me hit your plate. When you get done. Okay. And then I'll do what I normally do. Okay. Set it right there. Then we're gonna do get a little cleaning going here. Got it? Yeah. Pull that one up. Like that. Put it in the middle. Put pull that one up. Put it in the middle. There you go. There you go. Okay. Cool. There we go. Alright, we're gonna get this here all cleaned up. Try to save, make it pretty. Save some for Lisa. Huh? Save some for Lisa. You got her piece already? No, you had it. Uh, -uh I didn't have it. We need to cut her some then. Another piece before we plate it up and make it look pretty. I thought you had a piece already cut for her. Here you go. Um, we'll cut. Yeah. 
We'll get this off right We're here. We're good. Here we go. We will cut this off right here. We'll cut it right there. Good piece. Oh, let's get another piece. Here we go. Give her a little piece, and we'll glaze it here at the end. All right. Let me. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, pretty. There you go. Pretty. There you go. All right. And let's bring it over here, and I'm gonna glaze Got it. Got you. Let me get this cleaned a little bit. Now this is where after I've cleaned it a little bit, Brent will start slinging the glaze all over the place all right. at normal comps. We'll give Lisa a little glaze. We're going to swing it around. And don't forget the, let me have the uh, goat cheese. Got you. All right, the goat cheese will go over the uh, butternut squash. Got gotcha. you. And then a little dill over the. Where's salad. my cutting board with all that stuff? Here's Lisa. Here's Lisa. It's done here. Hey, Lisa. Look Lisa, we about that. to finish up. Let me get a little dill right wow. here. Wow. Okay. What else are you putting with it? We're gonna get a little bit of this. Uh huh. Here's this right there. There's my little. Uh, and we're just gonna right slap a little bit of that okay. like that. Yep. I'm gonna try this. Please be good. <laughs> mm. Oh, that is that is delicious. <laughs> that is that compart de roc pork. It is. You got that it's right. Absolutely amazing. Nice and tender. We certainly hope that you got a great recipe today that you can cook at home. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Bamakew Live. Mm-hmm. <laughs>